Let's try to solve these problems. Multiply the following. So let's start with 1. x plus 2 times x minus 3. So we are multiplying two binomials. To simplify this, we can apply FOIL method. So we can multiply first to first or F. So x times x. Next is plus the product of the outer to outer terms or O. So we have x times negative 3 or simply negative 3x. Next is the product of the inner terms or I. So we have 2 times x or 2x. Then plus, lastly, the product of the last to last or the last terms, L. So we have 2 times negative 3. Simplifying this, we have x times x is equal to x squared. Then plus negative 3x plus 2x. So we can combine similar terms. So we just add negative 3 plus 2. It's equal to negative 1. And then affix the same variable x. Or if the coefficient is just negative 1, you can just put the negative symbol. Then lastly, plus 2 times negative 3 or negative 6. So this is the final answer. For number 2, we have 3x minus 4 times negative 2x plus 7. Again, let's apply FOIL method. So let's multiply first. 3x times negative 2x plus the product of 3x and 7. So we have 3x times 7 plus the product of negative 4 and uh, negative 2x. So we have negative 4 times negative 2x. Then lastly, plus the product of negative 4 times 7. So let's multiply 3x times negative 2x. So 3 times negative 2, it's negative 6. Then again, x times x, that's x squared. So we have 3x times 7, that will be positive 21x. Then negative 4 times negative 2x, that will be positive 8x. Then plus negative 4 times 7 or negative 28. So we have negative 6x squared and let's combine the similar terms. So 21x plus 8x, that will be 21 plus 8, 29x. Then minus 28. So therefore, this is the final answer. Lastly, for number 3, we have 2x plus 3y times 5x minus 4y. Again, let's apply FOIL method. So let's multiply first. 2x times 5x plus the product of 2x times negative 4y. Plus, next, the product of 3y and 5x. So, we have 3y times 5x. Then, plus the product of 3y and negative 4y. So, we have 3y times negative 4y. So, simplifying, multiply 2x times 5x, 2 times 5. That will be 10. Then, x times x, it's x squared. Next, 2x times negative 4y, that will be negative 8 xy 3y times 5x that will be positive 15 xy and uh, 3y times negative 4y so 3 times negative 4 that's negative 12 and y times y that's y squared so we have 10 x squared then you can combine similar terms negative 8 xy plus 15 xy so we have negative 8 plus 15 that will be positive 7. Then just affix the same literal coefficients or the variables x, y. Then just copy minus 12 y squared. So this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to solve this problem and just comment your answers.